Is Lamella Ball better than Alonzo Ball, or is his play style just drastically different? Huh. I'm gonna go with Lamella Ball is better. How would you describe your drip compared to your brother's? No, uh, to be honest, I just put on anything, however I'm feeling. So I like bright colors. Anything that just yeah, make me feel good for him to throw on. Tell me about what age and some of the drills you did and when you knew that basketball meant everything to you. Uh, well, really, when I was like three, that's when it was. Is there anyone that inspired you the most with their tattoos? Myself. You can meet anybody in the world. Who would it be? Uh, Jesus. You know, when we play Zion again, me. I mean, hopefully we both in the NBA. Yeah. yeah. You get more enjoyment setting up your teammates or creating knocking down the shot yourself. If it's a big shot, shot. But if it's like a pass to a dunk, yeah, I'm, right. I'm, I'm go with that. What did you kind of think of your your rookie year? To be honest, it went by so quick. I I don't even know. For real, I don't know the coronavirus. I forgot I didn't even start a couple games. Like it just went by so quick. I don't. I really don't even know. For real. I, I'm like, huh? It's second year. Damn. Who has the better shooting form? Me. I used to shoot that thing with my neck. <laughs> what is it like for that summary to finally happen? I'm actually really excited. It's uh, gonna be my first time in a long time playing back in the States. What was the conversation like when your dad told you that you guys were gonna be playing in Lithuania? Just all right, and then get prepared for it. Like now that you look back at your path and your journey, I mean, what does it make you feel? How do you feel like right now? You know, I feel like it's it was the best route for me, my my own route, so one on one for sure. And I feel like it just made me who I am and helped me be here today for real. You're just a genius by birth. Um, a genius, I wouldn't say all that, but yeah, I think I'm kind of smart. Lamelo, how would you describe what those battles were like for you growing up? Uh, very competitive, and I mean, we were running three on threes, four on fours, two on twos, pretty much everything. Everybody has that aha moment, I think, when you're in the NBA. Did you have that moment? Your, Which moment? It, oh, wow, I'm in the league. Oh, uh, I'm not gonna lie, nah. I just always felt like I should make the league and supposed to go to the league, and just felt I put in the work. So I just felt like the step was coming at right. the right time that I thought, so yep. it all pretty much going to plan. What kind of car do you drive now? Lambo or BMW. How do you think you've grown as a leader? How do you think you've become a leader? Uh, like I said, I feel like I've been a leader my whole life, but just at this level now, just picking up stuff and becoming more of a leader, I could say. So I feel like doing that. How did LaMelo Ball get so tall? Well, it's this thing called uh, a father and a mother. They do that little thingy thing, and, and they made me. Tell me your reaction to being drafted by Charlotte. Definitely a blessing. I mean, I'm here, I'm happy, whole family's here cheering me on and stuff, so it's definitely a blessing. And I'm excited to come there, so I'm gonna have a beautiful time. And you can hardly wait to get going. That's a fact. I really can't wait to get there. How little were you? Were you the same size? They picked yeah, on no, you? Yeah, no, no, definitely the smallest the always. The smallest yeah, always. Yeah. That's why I was always shooting the little floaters, just anywhere. That was the quickest shot for me, so yeah, just always did floaters. You still won Rookie of the Year. I mean, so deserving. Were you surprised at all? Just from my feeling, I'm always moving in the right direction and thinking positively, so I was just like, yeah, I'm probably going to win. And it happened, so. Done. No more school, period. What's that like? Dream come true. <laughs> Mello, how tall are you now? Me, like 6'5". Six, 6'5". Five. Six, five. Oh God. Which one of you is your parents' favorite? Australia. Do you feel ready? Yeah, always. What, what have you been watching on Netflix? Uh, Troll Hunters and Flash. Do you have any superstitions on your day to day when you're when you're playing? Like, yo, I got it. Yeah, this. probably. Oh no, it was wearing an arm sleeve. Like when I was young, if I ain't had no arm sleeve, and you just feel like you naked out there with nothing. <laughs> and me, I'm skinny, so it's like ah, I need need arm sleeve for sure. When you've gotten these tattoos, did you have a plan for what you were gonna get? I get a little idea and go there, and then I'm you feel me? I throw the mellow sauce on it. Who your celebrity crush? Hmm. Celebrity because I ain't got one. When they had taken the Borat thing and they put it up on in the uh, in the locker room, was it always something where you were like, man, I'm not vibing with them? Oh yeah, no, I, I don't mess with them. Who has the better vision? Me. What made you nervous about coming here? There had to be something 
about the whole process, the unknown? Was there anything that, that made you a little bit uncomfortable, a little bit nervous? No. What was it like playing against professionals overseas versus going to college and playing with kids your age? And playing over there, it's like a whole new style of play that you really could add to your arsenal. I feel I learned a lot and grew from there. Do you scream like a little girl? What? All right, these questions are not in your computer. <laughs> Is this something you think, obviously, you grew up with Lonzo and Jello, um, seeing them over their you know, careers early on. Was it, what was it like growing up with them, and what did you learn from them? Uh, growing up with them was amazing, obviously. I mean, have two brothers, always got somebody to be around and just learn from them. So just taking stuff from them, I feel like it was a big help. Probably talk to them every day. But just, you know, all trying to get here, all trying to be on a level, just be dominant, stuff like that. Are you disappointed your team couldn't make the playoffs or are you trying to improve for next year? At the end of the day, don't you just want to win it all? What about when you stepped on the court for the first practice? What was that like? It's just another practice. It's just basketball. But yeah. I don't want to harp on injuries or anything like that, right. but I mean, when that happened to your wrist, just how yeah. devastating was it? To be honest, I it. really did not think, like, when it happened, I'm like, all right, maybe it's just sprain, kept playing. I'm like, hold on, it's not even getting better. And then Miles was like, hey, just twist it. I'm like, yeah, he probably right. I heard it cracking. Now I'm like, nah, I don't think I should be twisting it. And then they was like, nah, sub. And then we went to go get it checked. And he was broke. I'm like, damn, bro. <sighs> Tough day. No, okay, no. what, what does that feel like, man? You, your dad living in the same house with you. I, I can't give you an answer because, like, I always had him. Like, you you ain't had no dad. Well, March LaMelo does kind of look like you. I don't sure they're paying you for this. The Pistons mentioned Pete Maravich um, in comparison to somebody who kind of compares you to. When you hear stuff like that, as somebody who knows history of the game, just what goes through your mind, if anything. Uh, yeah, definitely respect, but yeah, I don't really compare myself to nobody but myself, so. And then from there, just trying to get better. Coolest thing about being over here? Uh, just doing what you love, playing basketball, yeah. How would you describe what those years were like for you? Uh, what those years was like, I feel like every year, or every time I went somewhere, I just learned and pick up on stuff. So pretty much, pretty much it. Is there something that, that Zoe's told you as you were coming up and joining the NBA that you feel like now, like you still hang on to every single day? Um, like I said, it's, it's a whole lot of stuff that I feel like just stay with you, pretty much. What is LaMelo Ball's biggest weakness? I answered the question. It was that pause. No weaknesses. Uh, you playing where it's like for you and Miles, I think that's important. You and Miles are sitting out there. It's kind of incredible. Even he can't kind of explain why you guys are so good at the court. Can you explain? So I feel like it's just, I feel like it's already written for real. It's so much stuff we got in common that we didn't even know before until we just start hanging out and stuff. It's just everything for real. Like he used to always be number one. I was number one. He, dude, signed just like me. Like shit crazy. We got, we got the exact same signature. Like, we brothers from another world or something. You feel me? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, it's crazy. What do you think of Pilates? I don't know. Is it harder than you thought it would be? Some some stuff, yeah. Do you think you'll be adding this to your training regimen? No. Lonzo says it's good for your body, but I'm all right off it. How do you think you're, you're perceived, how you're viewed? Well, he's a good guy. I mean, a lot of kids look up to me, try to help them. And then some people just out there hate, so uh, it depends who you are. <laughs> and how long were you guys over in Lithuania? Uh, from January to what, May? Like five months. Who is the better passer? Me. What's your main goal this summer? Hold on. All right. You ready? Hmm. You gotta figure out what's my next step. Just keep developing. Be the number one pick in 2020 draft. What did you know about Lithuanian basketball or Lithuania before you got here? Uh, I didn't really know much. Just heard it was cold here. Not a lot of people speak English. But it really, it really wasn't as cold as I thought. And more people did speak English. What player would you compare Lamella Ball to? I would compare Lamella Ball to Lamella Ball. Since the last family meeting, do you know if Zoe or your dad talked about? Joe's role with Triple B. I don't really know what's going to happen right now. Does Del Curry buy dinner when you guys beat Steph and the Warriors? How does that work? 
Yeah, that's a great question. I mean, yeah, we're going to talk to Dale for sure, get some dinner with him. <laughs> yeah. You know, I'm, always, I'm always up for it. So I'm like, hey, you feel me? I'll be there. Is it crazy that, that, to think that you're a professional now at 16 years old? No. What role will Michael Jordan play in LaMelo's development? Right now, it's to be continued, something we got to just, you know, go forward with life and see. If you had a chance to pick your starting five in history, Anybody you want who played. Zo, who would your top five be? And then LaMelo, who would your top starting five be? I would have had me at the one, Jordan at the two, LeBron at the three, KD at the four, Shaq at the five. Are you looking forward to discussing the brand with your dad? I mean, you're in all those different places. I mean, those are probably, a, a lot of those cities and countries are places that Players don't really go to right. guys don't experience. So do you feel like you picked up on stuff while you were traveling really around the world? Yeah, just being around the whole world. I mean, seeing everybody and make life easy. I feel like just going from place to place here, I don't even feel like I'm traveling for real. What's been the story of your success? Water. They're drinking water. H2O. Water. <laughs> no, I'm playing with what are some of the things that you worked on in the off season and, and you're hoping to show and, and display this coming year? Uh, pretty much just everything. I mean, we just want to go in and get as much wins as we could. Are you happy to finally be able to get to see your family tonight? Yeah, it's cool to see them. How much do you miss your friends? Uh, miss them? Nah, I mean, I, I call my friends once in a while, say what's up, say what's up to me, that's it. Who are your top three basketball icons? Me, myself, and I. All right. What college would you have gone to if you were eligible? Honestly, I, would, I think I would have went to USC. How often do you find yourself, you're in, a, you're in a hotel or you're in a place like this and you think back to how it was in Lithuania? Oh, yeah. Uh, Lithuania was, yeah, nah, yeah, you right. It was cold out there. It was cold as hell. But yeah, <laughs> and all these hotels, you know, nice, everything cool. Back there, it's bed be that small, legs hanging off, arms hanging off. I mean, it's just a whole bunch of stuff. Bad beat down hotels, you know. When's your first paycheck coming? Mm, uh, I don't I don't know. I don't really care. I'm not here for the money. Just here to play. Would you rather never be able to wear pants or never be able to wear shorts? Ain't that the same thing? You said no, pants, pants and shorts. Or shorts. Mello, what do you think of the Knicks? I only mess with the Hornets now. Do that make sense, though? You, you feel what I'm saying? And last question, I promise. What do you got to say to your teammates, Miles and PJ? I know they want to be out here tonight. Happy New Year! Meeting with your dad about the MV1 line will go a long way towards smoothing things over. Yeah. Were you jealous when the girl asked uh, Jello out the other day uh, in the nah, press conference? Nah, 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 not at all. <laughs> not at all. Missing Lithuania? <laughs> nah, I'm cool. What does it mean for you to be to have your own sneaker? I'm sure you do up watching my plays like Michael Jordan, et cetera, just have your own sneaker. What does it mean for you to be able to have your own shoe now? I mean, for real, I had my own shoe in high school, so. When I got to the league, I, I ain't gonna lie, Loki expected to shoot. What do you think of the concepts your dad showed you for the MB1 collection? I think the MB1 stuff he got is a good start to it. Which teammate would you not want to cook you dinner? I'm gonna keep this weight on you. PB and J? Hell. Uh, he can't cook. Chill. I, I'm picking him. Don't listen to him. I'm picking him. Then I get the job done, though. Yeah. No. Right, Nick Richard. He's blessed. First, I was game. God damn, I was mad young. Something called Phenon Camp. Yeah, I think that was probably the first one when I was real young. Have you Googled, you know, best players ever from Lithuania? Have you Googled where you no. should go in Lithuania? No, I didn't do none of that. Nicki Minaj or Cardi B? On what? Look at the camera. Huh? Look at the camera. Wait, on music though? Yeah, it's music. And look at the camera, Nami, man. Uh, music, Cardi B, but sexual, Nicki Minaj. You can go <laughs> through that. Uh, I'm just, 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 i am Next question. What is your favorite NBA memory from watching the game? Uh, favorite NBA memory? Mm, that's tough. Probably just seeing my brother take the court for real. 
What's the craziest thing anybody's ever said to you? Mm. Craziest? Probably like sign a baby forehead or something like that. Yeah. What number do you wear and why? Uh, number one, and pretty much just my whole life. It always been one. So yeah. Is there a reason why behind it? It just speaks volumes to me. It's like an angel number, I guess. It's always been the one. Just the one. One is everything. What's it like having MJ as an owner? Owner for you? Oh yeah, amazing for real. I mean, having him as an owner. It's not a lot of them out there. Or not. How many owner, black owners we got, for real? What would make this all a success for you? Uh, just coming back better and learning. That's it. What do you think is the best basketball movie of all time? I'm talking all. Animal <laughs> included. It's Space Jam. Space? Okay. It's Space Jam. You feel and me? then secondly is Air Bud, right? <laughs> Not Air Bud. I wasn't expecting that. I'm not going to lie. But Air Bud. Oh, so I'm thinking you was going to like Air Bud. Love Air Bud. That's tough, but. What's the ride been like? Uh, the ride's been cool, but it's pretty much been the same my whole life. Just now it's just more attention, more cameras, more people seeing what you're doing. So that's pretty much the only thing that changed. In a win like this against your brother in the NBA, a situation that your family spoke into existence, what are the emotions sure. after this win? Oh, I mean, I'm great. <laughs> we won, so yeah, I'm chilling on this side. I don't really know how Lonzo feeling because I know he loves winning too, but yeah, right now I'm feeling great. As a teenager, do you think your dad puts too much pressure on you sometimes? No. I uh, definitely hear what he's saying, so I gotta play better and take responsibility. What's the part of your dad that you want people to know that they don't? Oh, that I want them to know? Uh, not really nothing. I don't want them to know anything. They can think what they want, but like me, Zo, Jello, whole family, we know how he is. That's that's really the all that matters. Just family. Remember there was a video you were like shooting left handed and obviously you, you messed you, you suffered a fracture with your right wrist yeah. last year and yeah, our pops changes. Cause oh. when, when we eat at the table, like Lonzo and my pops is right handed, so me and Jello was hitting them. So he needs to change all of us. <laughs> so we all right. <laughs> Wait, hold up. So you, I, I go back to left now. Like right, when, right when I left the house and everything, I did everything I do with my left. That's got to help you though, right? The way yeah, you play. Sure. Using I feel both like it, yeah. For more videos, click here.